The Diocese of Hamilton has a heritage edition of the St. John's Bible. The original St. John's Bible is a handwritten and hand illuminated Bible that was created between 2000 and 2011. It was a collaboration between St. John's Abbey and University in Collegeville, Minnesota, and British calligrapher Donald Jackson. While the original stays in Collegeville, there's 299 sets of the Heritage Edition. It's a reproduction of the original, and it really gives you a feeling of what a handwritten and hand-illuminated Bible looks like. My name is Bridget Kerr, and I'm the coordinator of the St. John's Bible. I help people plan out how they might use the St. John's Bible, making sure they know what to expect, they have everything in place, and that there's staff from the diocese to make their event successful. We've had the great privilege of having the St. John's Bible here at St. Thomas the Apostle Parish twice already, to see the beautiful etchings, to see the calligraphy, that the Word becomes flesh as dwells among us once again in this beautiful Bible. It's a great opportunity not only to hear God's Word, but to see that living Word of God present and active among us. It's been a great joy having the St. John's Bible here to see those pictures of the incarnation, of the resurrection of Jesus, to, to really see and picture in our minds these great mysteries of our faith. It's been a wonderful privilege for our parish, and we look forward to the day the St. John's Bible can come back and be with us again. We've had the Bible here uh, several times in the uh, parish schools and with the catechetical program that we run in the parish. We expected that the children would have a great experience with the Bible. We had no idea how positive the parents would, uh, would receive it. One of the things that the St. John's Bible has uh, afforded us the opportunity of doing is to reach out to the other churches and to the other faith communities in the area. One of the faith communities is our local synagogue. Uh, which is just down the street. And so to be able to invite people to come here to view this book that's relevant to, to all of us is very, very important. Anyone can book the St. John's Bible. We're happy to bring it out across the diocese to groups within and without the Catholic community. There's a lot of things that people do when they book the St. John's Bible. People use it for prayers. They use it to explore the art. And in the schools, we have programming that looks right at the calligraphy. Once the children hear about the creation of the Bible, they have an opportunity to view the Bible up close. Then we give them a hands-on experience with the tools that we use to create the Bible. And then they have some fun with calligraphy. They take a scripture passage and they create a versal to go with their passage. I'm Mary Tassari. I am a facilitator of the St. John's Bible and I have the privilege also to be part of the steering committee, bringing the St. John's Bible to our school communities and to our parish communities. It's our history and it's our hope. The future of the St. John's Bible in the Diocese of Hamilton, I think will only go forward. It will only expand. Many people have responded favorably to the St. John's Bible, the various uh, volumes that have arrived and have uh, been carted across the diocese to different locations, to parishes, to schools, to other institutions. People at these different gatherings have been in awe, certainly of the detail in the calligraphy, the freshness of the images, and certainly the beauty of the art the fact that they're able to touch the Bible, turn the pages, have a very physical encounter with the Word of God. It's been surprising because I would not have thought originally that that many people would have gotten excited about a book, even excited about art. Christina Ronzio and Dominique Williams spoke to me about the possibility of getting the seven volume set for the diocese and I must say I was really anxious to do that. Uh, I thought this would be a wonderful acquisition for us. The diocese is all about evangelization. I mean it's, it's about proclaiming the gospel and the presence of the Bible is a powerful way of doing that. I wanted the library archives to be involved, engaged, as well as the, the other pastoral offices. So this was a, a very a concrete way of engaging the library in the evangelizing mission. The Bible will help people to experience 
God's Word, if you talk about it with other people, you say, this is what I see, what do you see? They're experiencing the Word in a very different way by how it has touched them through art.